Hello everyone, time for something a bit different. We are making a beautiful lemon branch using exciting and fun 3D techniques. We are also trying something absolutely crazy. Casting a lemon using a glue gun. You wouldn't want to miss this one. Let's get right into it. The original piece is available for sale on my website right now. What are we going to do today? I'll show you my inspiration. Ta-da! I've been doing some pouring for the last few weeks and I am craving 3D texture, something completely different. So I hope you enjoy this episode. This is my canvas, 30 by 30 centimeters, premium canvas by Arteza, very well taught. Oh, by the way, there's a 10% off on all Arteza products if you use my code, abcreative10. Time for some wall putty. What we call it here, all-purpose filler. I am going to cover my canvas, thinner layer in the middle and a bit thicker the edges because I do want some texture. Okay, I'll be adding more, as I said, to the edges, but at the moment making the mid part nice and even. Now, I found a bit of leftover, I don't know what it's called, this from my previous painting. I think I used it for the poppies. I really like the texture. So this is going to be stuck here. I'm going to use a bit more just to make sure it adheres nicely. And I'll trim the edges, of course. So this will be another one in this series, poppies. And then I did bluebells and peace lily. This time I'm going for fruit, making sure it's all stuck. But I definitely don't want it completely flat. Maybe I'll cut that off because it's, it's pretty chunky here. It's going to be easier to stick it without the edges. Okay, this side is done. I need another one mm, somewhere here, like this. I'm leaving this to dry. I've got an idea, but as usual, I'm going to test it here. I've no idea if it's going to work. I would like to make a 3D lemon and I don't have any mold release. I don't have any kit to make a mold. So I am going to try using glue gun. May not work. Maybe I should be spreading that glue. <laughs> well, no matter what, I'm going to have fun. Who doesn't like crazy experiments? I would hold it if I wasn't a bit scared and I'm going to burn myself. I just want half of it, you know? That's why I thought it might work. Just might work, maybe. If you can hear that noise, explosions, it's the 5th of November, Guy Fawkes Day here in, in London. We've got... Fireworks going off everywhere. Oh, let's... oh no! Got stuck. That just did explosions. As I said, I just want half. Is it going to be thick enough for me to peel it or not? Oh, I can hold it now. I think it's cool enough to peel it off. Okay. Oh yeah, let's just push it this way. Oh wow, look at this, look at this. Oh my goodness, it worked, it worked. What shall we make the mold with? Two options, lightweight with Fimo or self-drying clay. I might try Fimo to be honest. I actually found out that I have yellow Fimo. I mean just two colors, white and yellow. How random is that? So I am going to try yellow, why not? I remember I bought this yellow when I was planning some flowers, but I'm kind of feeling like lemon <laughs> at the moment. You always warm it up in your hands. It's much more pliable. I've never made anything that big, but I suppose I have to have it so big. Perfect. 
pressing it down. I want all the imprints and then I'll see if I can take it out safely. Might be too thin. Oh, it's too thin. If it was much thicker, there'll be no problem, but I made it quite thin. Definitely too thin. So I need more fine. Oh, look at that. Wow. All right. All I need to do is just trim some of the edges. Ta-da! We do have a lemon, don't we? And I am trying to make another one, but a bit flatter. And then perhaps I'll make a small green one. How about that? I just love something new, you know, I just love. When my ideas work, that's what I really enjoy. This one's going to be much easier to take out. And I'll shape it as I want it. The green one, I'm going to make it out of white because I'm going to paint it green. With this one, I am just pressing down like that. Now I'll shape my little lemon. All of them are ready to go to the oven for 20 minutes. That's what it says on the instruction, by my instruction. I'm transferring my lemons onto the baking tray. So any adjustment, I can do it here. I don't think I could be any happier with my lemons. Did work. Five minutes in the oven, freshly baked. They're actually, they're not hot, they're warm, very warm now. I forgot that this one was translucent. Not that it matters because I'm going to paint it anyway. Solid. Let's see what happens when I paint it when it's really warm. Paint should be dry in seconds. I'm just going to use this as a base coat. You see the imprint? If I add a bit of lighter yellow, more lemony yellow, this is lemon yellow. So let's have a break. That was the original. So these are a bit smaller. I just trimmed the edges. It's all dry. And now I'm thinking what colors would look nice with the lemon yellows and the green leaves. I'm planning some leaves as well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want the background dark or light. So I'm just going to spray it with gold first and see if I like it. It's a water-based spray paint, but I still have to go out. Uh, if you use spray paint, please use a mask and do it in a very well ventilated area. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm not sure whether to rub on white or black. Let's just try dark first. Somebody told me that I'm very brave trying various things. Well, thank you very much. Sometimes I do think, hey, I don't know, it's a good idea or not. Baby wipe might take some more. Perfect. That's the right balance. That's what I wanted in the first place. Okay, that's good. So black just stays in all those crevices nicely. It requires just a couple of touch-ups, but I am leaving it to dry now. And planting the leaves. Unfortunately, I don't have any lemon shrubs, tree shrubs growing anywhere near. So I was looking for something that will resemble the lemon leaves. And I found these outside. That's actually a very nice pink cherry. So I might use this one, but I think that these are the rose leaves and I think that they resemble the lemon ones the most. They're quite smooth. Even the colour is similar. This is just a plas random plastic sheet I was going to throw away, but I thought, well, let's just use it for something. This is the wall putty. When it's a bit drier, you can handle it. And when you tap it, you can shape it. There's some moisture in it. I'm going to form some leaves. Hopefully, don't want it too thin, don't want it too, too fat. That's probably all right. Try this baby. This one actually has got the right shape, I think. When you look at this one, these veins are very pronounced. They would leave a lovely mark. These are flatter, so I, I'm not sure. I have to see. I'm just going to cut it around as it is. I like this shape. Oh my 
point of truth. No, I think I like it. Let's leave it. And a couple more. I thought it would be really nice if one of the leaves was covering one of the lemons, just partially. But I'm thinking how to do it, because it's not... Fimo would be much easier. I could do one from Fimo, but let me try if I can do it from the putty. If I cover the lemon with cling film, let me see if I can move, if I can lift it up. That's the whole thing. Can I or not? I think it's tricky now. Well, because it's quite fragile. I can. It's pretty thin. Oh, okay. So let me see. How do I want it? I'll leave it like that to dry. Once it's dry, it's going to keep that shape. What do you think? I'm trying to position the leaves on the piece, thinking where where do I want these? Now we've got this lemon together with that, which I envisage somewhere here. The main branch will be coming somewhere here towards this this one. And here I do want a flower, or maybe here or here. I'm drawing around them so that I know where to position them later. I've decided to use a glue gun because the glue gun, you know when you use glue gun you've got those little knots and uh, imperfections and that will be more like a branch, especially if I, if I go over the second time. So I'm just making it imperfect on purpose. <laughs> All right. decided to add some flowers here trying to make them thin that's going to be a bud maybe another bud well in the end I've decided to use extra strong what is it all-purpose glue maybe maybe this one will be the best I'll just try this I'm sticking each item one by one very carefully, waiting a bit for it to be tacky. I just have this idea on the spot. I didn't try that before, so I often change and I adapt. So at this moment, I'm thinking, will that glue gun be preserved like this? Probably, but I don't want to risk anything. So I'm actually going to spray this section with the same gold, just to cover all the area with paint uh, so that the glue gun will be sort of encased with paint as well just for the protection of course i shouldn't have stuck these but i'm human i'm making mistakes so i'm now thinking okay i'll just cover these now it's safe oh no it's almost midnight i have to get up at six for work so time to leave it all the branches are super secure now, encased in paint. I might change the color, of course, later on, but at the moment I'm thinking it probably makes sense if I paint the leaves before I glue them, since I have them separately. Let's just mix a bit of green and yellow. I'll be trying to match the natural hue of a lemon leaf, which is, the, which is not this color. I think it has to be something lighter, so let's take some yellow first. That's too light, that's too artificial. So I'm going to add a drop of burnt sienna perhaps. That's a better color, that's a better color, I think. It's good to have some reference so you can find a picture and check what you're mixing, whether it looks like a lemon leaf or not. I'm going to spread some. I will add some, uh, maybe some shading, but this is the first layer. There has to be some yellow shade in it because to match the lemons, you know. Okay, so I'll just continue with the, the with the rest. I'm trying to make the the flowers now. I don't know how many, maybe two, maybe three, and the bud. They only have five petals. 
I was thinking of the best way to make them. I was trying to remember how I made the, the bluebells. I think I should check actually my own video. I think there will be something similar. So they're kind of chunky. They're not as pointy as the bluebells, I think. And they have this stigma in the middle. This is my prototype. I'll try to shape them a bit better. All right, so we have this. Now if I fold it, I think that will look roughly like the flower. What do you think? I just need the mid part. I don't think I'll be able to add those tiny, tiny yellow bits here, but we can always paint it yellow. So this will go right in the middle. Those of you who have lemon trees or lemon shrubs in the garden, you're probably laughing now. We don't have any lemon flowers here in London, unfortunately. Is that close enough? So this one will be somewhere here. Actually, I'll trim it a bit and then it will go to the oven. I'll make another one. I'm trying to put all the pieces of the puzzle together to decide whether I want any more flowers. So I am rolling something like that. And I will just try to cut the edges as if they are petals. I don't want this one open. I, I want a little bit of a white accent here, that's why. That's a really small bit, but I think it will add just the right balance. And now I might do something similar here. I think I've decided on this position, so... I am going to put them in the oven now. I preheated the oven to 110 degrees and I'll keep them for roughly half an hour. Before I glue the lemons on, I want to add some shadows to the branches. I actually haven't decided what color I want the branches to be. Maybe I will leave them gold, but I'll just add darker shadows. So there is some more contrast, like at the edges. So I'm going to do it to every, every branch. So it's looking like this now. I've got the flowers, final touches on the flowers, and then I'm thinking, the leaves are stuck. I'm thinking maybe I'll just add some darker sections on the leaves and I'll consider it finished. I'm not sure if that's necessary, but I looked online and there's just a little bit of pink or blush on some of these. I would say hardly any, just, just a little bit. Couple of dots in the middle, imitating some pollen bit of brown is all right. Too much brown, probably not. I'm gluing the final elements with this all-purpose glue and super glue as well. With one exception, you know, the bent leaf. I think it requires some, something else. So I'm going to cover it with all-purpose glue and then fill that hollow part with glue gun. I think that will make it much stronger. Holding it really firmly for over a minute. The whole thing is actually warm. I, I just remembered that I have a whole box of mica powders and as finishing touches I'm going to add some shine to the lemons, you know, as if they were waxed. But there's so many colours, so I'm not sure which one to choose. Well, in the end, I'll go with lemon grass and gold glow for the lemons. And just a touch up of green moss on the leaves. And that's it. I think they look pretty awesome. I think they look almost edible. I'm very, 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 very pleased with them. I hope you enjoy them too. Well, there we are. I really had no idea if the techniques that I used in this piece would work, but I mean, just look at the lemon texture. How crazy is it that I was done using a glue gun mold? If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to see more like it. And don't forget that the original piece is for sale at abcreativeofficial.com. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.